Welcome back to The 7. It is Thursday, so it's time to take your weather questions to Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca. And this week's question comes from Jane. She wants to know if the time between lightning and thunder actually tells us how far away a storm is, and if so, is it in miles or is it in minutes? Ellen's in the tracking center now with the answer. This is a good one. Yeah, this is a good one. And I'm sure a lot of people have heard this yeah. one from time to time. So I'll just go ahead and start by saying that this one is, in fact, true. So let's walk you through some of the details as to why and then talk about the equations that you can do at home. This is especially fun with kids, especially if there's a rain delay. So just to start, remember that light travels so much faster than sound. So if you have a thunderstorm in the distance, remember that lightning causes thunder. So if you see a flash of lightning and you hear the thunder, they're starting at roughly the same time. However, depending on how far you are away from that storm, it's going to take a different amount of time for you to see the flash versus hear the thunder. Again, light travels at 671 million miles per hour. Sound travels at just 760 miles per hour, so there is a delay. So here's how you do the equation. First, you start with the flash. The moment you see the flash of lightning, you begin and take it slow, don't rush it. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, you get the gist. Stop counting once you hear the rumble of thunder. That's when the thunder has reached you. So let's say I'm counting between the strike and I get to 7, 1,000. We'll take that number and divide it by five. That gives you the amount of miles the storm is away. For every five miles, or for every five seconds, the storm is one mile away. So for example, if you count and you get 10 seconds, you divide it by five, and that means the storm is two miles away. So the answer is in miles, for those of you that want to know, and it's just divide your number by five, and that gives you the answer. Again, this is really fun to do with kids, especially if you're struggling with a rain delay and trying to keep them entertained in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, that's a great explanation. A little more math than I thought, but good. <laughs> it's good. But doable math. Doable math. Mm -hmm. All right, if you have a weather question that you want to ask Ellen, all you need to do is email the7 at woodtv.com, or you can find her on social media.